Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to make a dog kennel and I'm going to utilize this old shed here for a dog house. So, um, what I did is I put my stakes down and I measured 8 feet from my uh, barn here that I'm going to utilize as a giant dog house. Uh, I'm going to put a gate right here between these two stakes and then it's going to be 20 feet to here basically eight feet from each corner there to that stake and and I'm gonna go 16 feet so it's eight foot uh, per post and, uh, and I'm gonna end it off right there so this whole area here is gonna be a dog kennel um, right here I'm gonna have a little uh, pet door right there and there's going to be a deck out here, probably an eight by four footer, so they can hang out here without, you know, laying in the mud or in the dirt. Um, and I might end up putting wood chips down here so they can hang out here, uh, and they won't get all dirty, messy, full of mud. And then back here will be where they take care of business. All right, guys. The first thing I need to do is after I staked off where I where I'm going to put my posts, we're going to start actually uh, digging the post holes. Uh, I have an auger at the back of my tractor. Uh, you can use a post hole digger, you know, a manual one, or the handheld, you know, motorized. Um, you know, whatever works best for you. Um, my posts are 10 feet tall, but they're going to be three feet into the ground, so they're going to be seven feet tall. All right, to make it easier for me to see when I'm on the tractor, uh, I'm going to pull these stakes out so when I put my auger down here, I'm going to be able to see what I'm doing. So wherever the stake goes, just put a little bit of orange paint on there. That way I can see it when I'm up on the tractor. the hole out. The only problem is clay and clay sticks to everything. The bottom of your shoes, your you know, post hole digger. Thankfully I don't have to go that deep. Maybe an extra foot I gotta take out with this. Now these posts here are uh, pressure treated obviously, uh, but what I did, uh, I'll put a link in the description down below and at the end of the video. I have a video on uh, treating these uh, uh, fence posts. When I was doing my fence posts out in the front of the property, I used uh, diesel fuel and waste oil, a 50-50 mix. And down here at the bottom, I used uh, roofing uh, 
uh, roof coating uh, for the last uh, three and a half feet. So it's, I got them down three feet and it's going to be about six inches sticking up out of the ground. Uh, that will repel the water even more and keep the wood uh, dry inside. Uh, so yeah, I'll put a, put the, I'm going to put a link in the description below to that video. So, start throwing some dirt in there, or <laughs> clay in my case. But it'll all uh, settle down in there once it rains. I'm going to be packing it down too, so... Just keep throwing dirt down there, keep watching your bubbles, make sure it's parallel or straight. And I'm telling you, this is some nasty stuff. That'll push all the dirt, or in my case clay, all down in the nooks and crannies down there. and Pack it down, it'll be just like if it was in concrete. Now in case you're wondering why I'm not cementing these, and I say it in the other video, the reason why I don't use concrete on posts is when you put a post in concrete you're creating a cup. The wood eventually will shrink a little bit in the concrete. Water gets in there, it's got nowhere to get out, and eventually they rot. That's why all the posts, you know, after five, six, seven, eight years, whatever, they uh, rot. If you do have to use concrete, and I would suggest using concrete if it's going to support a lot of weight, like a gate or something, um, then I'd make a pretty good sized diameter. But if you do use concrete, dig your hole like you normally would, put your post in there, and then put a little dirt in there, maybe three, four inches, then put your concrete in. This way, when the post does shrink and water does get in there, it'll go right through all the way down and back into the ground and it won't get stuck in there. Looking good. But in reality, when you're just putting fence posts up like this, as long as they're not really holding a lot of weight, uh, and you're going about three feet like I am, you don't need concrete. All right, I got all my posts in, and for today anyways, I decided to get the gate ready. Uh, so what I did is I bought a gate that's expandable, uh, six feet high, and it, I think it's expandable up to 72 inches. Let's see. There it is. If it's any opening 24 to 72 inches wide. So, so that, that way you don't have to be so precise. You just get it about where you want it, the, the width of the gate here opening, and it's good enough. So what I did is got my 4x4 four four here, and I put a 2x6 up against there, and I wouldn't got these to hold the posts in here. You'll find it in the fencing section at the big box stores. Put one down there, one here. Now they hang out a little bit. Well, I'm going to customize them. I'm going to cut these. I'm going to cut these here and drill another hole right here. Anyways, these are going to be stuck on there. But what I did is I just C clamped it temporarily to hold this post in place. And uh, now I'm going to hammer this thing down with the post hole. Uh, I forgot what you call those. Um, anyways, I'm going to hammer it down to a depth or a height, I should say, uh, maybe about up to here. Maybe I'll put it in the, into the ground about a foot. Um, that's all I'm going to need. Uh, and then the rest is the, these things here will hold it in place. Now for this side here, for the hinge side, I wouldn't picked up these. I can just screw them. See, if I, if I put another post on this side, it's going to make my opening more narrow. So with these, I'll just screw these in here. These are the minimum diameter on this half inch. So I went a little smaller than a half inch drill and I'm gonna drill it into here, screw these in, and my gate will open 
using these hinges here. That's pretty good. That's about six feet. I'm six foot tall. Uh, so yeah, that's good enough. Now once I put these on here, that ain't going nowhere. All right, now what we're gonna do is cut those uh, ends off on each side. And I'm gonna use this uh, portable bandsaw. doing it by hand. Now all I have to do is uh, drill an extra hole here and over here too. I just want to make a just a little center punch hole here so the drill don't go wandering do that to both Looks like I just bought it that way. <laughs> okay, I did the upper one. The lower one's done. And it's just as solid as the uh, post is. So now I'm going to start putting my gate together and connecting it onto the uh, posts. All right, I got the gate done. It's fairly, fairly simple. Just follow the directions that they give you. And um, so that's done. The next thing I have to do is mark my holes where the hinges are going to go in my uh, 4x4 posts. do is screw these things in and right now just use a pair of vice grips anyways all I did is the inside diameter of the threads here are a half inch so I picked a drill that was I think two sizes smaller than a half inch I don't remember what it was 
and um, it'll be a nice snug fit. All right, I got the gate done. Uh, let me bring you in for a close-up and I'll show you what I did. All right, I, everything on this gate I picked up at, uh, I think it was Home Depot. A few things at Lowell's. Uh, these hinge screws here, uh, those were at Lowell's. They had them. Uh, they probably have them at Home Depot, but the one I go to didn't have them. Uh, the gate was very simple to do. Uh, I picked that up at Home Depot. Um, uh, that went up in no time. Uh, just follow the directions, it's very simple. Now I put two latches here and here because, uh, well, two Dobermans, uh, they're gonna be pushing on this gate. So that's why I put two on there, just for added, uh, extra added security. Um, so yeah, basically what you need to do is measure your uh, the width from post to post so in my case it'd be from this metal post all the way to here and it was 38 inches you have to subtract two inches per side okay so 38 minus 4 is 34 inches so that's what I had to make my gate at 34 inches and uh, you just keep screwing these in until you get your two inches here um, so yeah, anyways, I'm happy with it. So now, the next thing I want to do before I put the fence in, I have to make them uh, a deck out here. Uh, I was going to do like an 8x4, but I think I'll bring it all the way to that post. That'll be 12 feet from that post, all the way to the corner of the uh, little barn here. Um, and it'll be 12 feet by 4 feet out. Uh, and then I'll put a little roof over it so they can hang out here uh, if it rains. And I got to cut out my little doggy door, little pet door there. And uh, and once this outside uh, deck area is done, I guess you can call it, uh, then I'm going to put my fencing in. All right, so the little deck is next. All right, I just came back from Home Depot and I picked up... Uh, I'm assuming most of the lumber I'm going to need to uh, make that little uh, deck area for the dogs. Um, so let's start putting this all together. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm putting my blocks down where the uh, deck is going to be uh, uh, sitting on. And I'm leveling those blocks out right now. So I got my level there in the middle. And I'm just going to fill, put dirt underneath them and raise them and lower them, whatever I need to do to get them level. So I'm going to do it this way and, of course, across also. Of course, Toby here, he's all excited about his new uh, house and playpen. Aren't you, Tobe? Huh? Toby, are you excited? Yeah, you're excited. I can see that. All right, this is where I'm at so far. I built the frame. Um, I added a support going across the middle there uh, for the two center um, rails. Uh, I also put here some two by four pieces because when I start laying that floor down, I'm not sure where it's gonna land on here. I could have just, you know, I had to cut out a piece for the planks. So I need a, a place to be able to drill into it. So I put those there. Uh, my four my four by fours are in for the roof. Now my roof is only going to be half of this platform. Um, I'm not sure how high um, I'm going to have this roof, but somewhere in the middle here, I'm going to cut them and angle it, of course. Um, so yeah, now uh, the next thing I want to do. Before I put the floor on, because it'll be too heavy for me to lift it onto the blocks again, uh, I'm going to start building the roof 
part and figure out the angle and all that stuff, the height. Um, so I'm going to start framing that in and do that next. All right guys, this is where I'm at so far. I got the, the roof framed in. Uh, I got it in the position where it's supposed to be. Now I have to put the planks in for the floor and the roof. Uh, the roof part, what I did is made it eight feet from here all the way down to there. And this way, I made it four and a half because I wanted this ledge out here. I wanted this ledge to go over that so it drips down and away. So I need to use two sheets of plywood and put them this way. And that's why the center here I put two two by four so each sheet can have its own two by four here. Because I hate putting a sh uh, two sheets of uh, uh, plywood on one two by four. Uh, this, this is stronger. I didn't put nothing, no supports here because it, I mean this is just a doghouse cover, it's no big deal. So this is plenty strong enough. Uh, any water that comes up from there Will fall on here no problem and it doesn't need the strength so uh, I'm going to start either on the probably on the floor next and then the roof As far as spacing in between each board, I'm not going to put any spacing. I'm just going to butt them up against each other. Uh, for two reasons, basically. One, the wood is wet and it'll shrink anyways. And two, I don't want the dog's you know, nails going into these between the boards and ripping them out. Uh, which I doubt will happen, but yeah, you never know. Dogs are dogs. Alright, I just got done with the floor. And I think it'll come out pretty good. Uh, where I had to go around here, I just pieced it in right there. You can see that I used nails instead because uh, screws would cause that to split. Um, so anyways, I did that there, back in there, and of course here too, and over there. So, now the uh, Next thing I need to do is the roof. All right, I just got the roof done, uh, and I had a piece of flashing, uh, so I just put that back there up against the uh, barn uh, to keep the water from going behind the wall and back here. Um, and here I had to kind of rig it like this, but it'll work. I'm not too concerned about it. Anyways. The deck part is done. The next thing I have to do now is put that little uh, pet door in there. And uh, then later I gotta build a small little room in there where they can hang out uh, if it's raining or, you know, when the weather's bad. All right, I got the uh, pet door in. I just got the cover on it right now. Uh, the deck's done, roof is done, the pet door is done. My next thing I have to do before I put the fence here is I want to put this uh, wire cloth mesh stuff down on the, on the ground to keep them from digging and I need to keep them from getting underneath 
the uh, deck also. So I'm gonna put some wire mesh on there and back here and along under this uh, barn here. All right guys, I put in the uh, hardware cloth and I'm not gonna get too much into detail but I'll show you what I did. Uh, put my board across there. You can see what I did here. Close this in. The fence is going here, so I had to. I didn't want them to fall into that, uh, so I just covered that up a little bit. Maybe I'll put a board there instead, but we'll see. So that's how I connected the boards. That's the only thing I can think of right now. A little L bracket like that. Um, okay. And on this hardware cloth, I put these stakes down here, as you can see them. Um, and these is, this is what I used right here. So I went to the gardening section at Home Depot and they had these uh, stakes. Uh, they're good for camping and whatever else, you know. Um, but they're plastic. And I was a little leery at first when I got them, but you know what? They're pretty strong. And you know what? They're not going to rust either. So that's good. <clears throat> so you can see where I put it down here. I put it on the side there so they can't crawl underneath. And I put more little stakes down. Hope you guys can hear me. It's kind of windy out here. Uh, more stakes there. And so I put it all the way around. Now, the fence that I'm going to be putting up is five feet tall. Okay, it's going to be right, right here. So I'm going to put another one of these boards, you know, right where that fence ends. And I'm going to go across all the way around, you know, the whole thing. And then for the upper foot and a half, whatever is left. I'm gonna. I have. I have another wire uh, fence for that too. I'm putting in there. So, anyways, uh, it's gonna be all wood chips. That's where they're gonna take care of business over there, and um, it'll be easy. All I have to do is scoop it up and take it out. All right. So the next thing I have to do now is put these boards going across here, and the uh, wood chips. All right, now it's starting to look more like a dog kennel. I got the uh, wood chips down. It's starting to look good. So now, the only thing I have left to do is put the fence in. And we're gonna do that next. All right, I got the fence all up. Um, the, the next thing I want to do is um, get this 1x4 here and then put it on the 4x4 and sandwich that fence in between there and I'll give it a nicer look too. Um, but for the fence here, I just use these little uh, fence staples right there and uh, put that in there. Uh, so let me get this 1x4 up and I should be completed. All right, I'm finally done with it. So I got those one by fours all in and it's sandwiched uh, the uh, fence in between the boards. And they look all happy, kind of, sort of. <laughs> but anyways, I'm done. Just give you a little quick tour. Now, this fencing, now since the ground is not level here, as you can see, this board ends here and this one's up here. Uh, it's not level and 
you can't really get you know bend this fence that much so uh, this is the only way I can do it it looks good enough and I put that little piece on top it's an extra little added security so yeah it's all done the only thing I have left to do is where the uh, pet door is I need to build a little room in there for them uh, probably five or six by five or six feet and I need this inside corner here of the uh, little barn here all right guys uh, thanks for watching uh, if you like the video please comment below and uh, please like and subscribe thank you <laughs> you like it here don't you Toby, where'd you get this lock? Toby, where are you? How did you get this? How did you lock this? This is for you, not for me. Honey? Honey? Somebody get me out of here? <laughs>